All right, so we would like to use um, electrode potentials to calculate the solubility product constant of zinc carbonate. You know from solubility rules that zinc carbonate is not very soluble, so you would expect KSP to be very, very, very small. Okay, so let's first find the E naught of the cell. So we need it to be positive, of course. So this is going to be minus 0.763 volts minus a minus 1.055 volts. Okay, and so that's going to equal 0.2923 for our cell. All right, so um, when we look at this, zinc is going to get reduced. That's our cathode, and this then is our anode, but we've got to flip it around because zinc is at the anode. So we're going to start off by writing this same equation. So zinc, the ion, is getting reduced to zinc metal at the cathode. And then our anode reaction is going to be zinc, the metal, plus carbonate, producing zinc carbonate. which we know is a solid, plus two electrons. So it's helpful if we write out the anode and cathode reactions. And then let's add them together and see what we end up with, because we want to calculate. We could just plug things in and get K, and you'll see that we might get the wrong K value. So that's why I'm going through these steps. Let's get rid of zinc. Uh, electrons balance out. And so what we're left with is zinc plus carbonate gives us zinc carbonate, oops, which you know is a solid. The problem with this is if we get the K value for this reaction, it's going to be the flip because remember the KSP reaction is zinc carbonate goes to Zn plus CO3. Let me show you what I mean. KSP is equal to products Zn over times CO3. That's what the KSP is going to be equal to. But these would have to be on the product side. Um, we don't put solids in an equilibrium equation. And in order for these to be on the product side, we have to flip the whole thing. So the K we're going to actually get is going to be the inverse of KSP. All right, so let's plug our numbers in here. E0 cell. We know that then log of K is going to equal E0 for our cell over 0 0.0592 over 2, because we have two electrons here. So that's going to equal 0 0.292 over 0 0.0296, and that's going to equal 9.86. That's not our k value, that's our log of k. So we take the inverse log, and k turns out to be 7.33 times 10 to the ninth. Well, that's not KSP because KSP for an insoluble compound, KSP is really small and this K is large. Um, this matches though that this reaction would go the way it is here because we want a large K so that we actually have a cell that works, that is spontaneous. So it is spontaneous.
okay? And um, you know the reverse is not going to be very spontaneous because zinc carbonate doesn't dissolve. But what we really need is this reaction. This is our KSP reaction, which of course just isn't very spontaneous because zinc carbonate doesn't dissolve. And so we would expect K to be small for KSP for this reaction, and it wouldn't be very spontaneous. So KSP is equal to 1 over the K we just calculated here, which is equal to 1 over 7.33 times 10 to the ninth, which is equal to 1.37 times 10 to the negative tenth. That's, the, that's KSP, and it's very small, meaning this reaction is not very spontaneous, and KSP is very small, meaning that zinc carbonate is not very soluble.